Hello guys, today we are going to start Log4j tutorial. Log4j is a logging framework which is known to be reliable, fast and flexible. Log4j is written in Java and it was distributed under the Apache software license. So before going into the, this logging framework, we have to know what is a necessity to have a logging framework. So as we know in the development environment, when we write a code, we usually use system.out.println to print the logs or whatever the flow of the program onto the console. And also, if we take in the development environment, we could use debugging tool whenever something goes wrong and we have to sit and sort out or we have to narrow down what has went wrong to in order to debug the program. These two are the possibilities where we have been using, you know, to write the logs or to debug to sit back and debug what has went wrong in order to know what uh, what's going on in the program so the emergence of logging framework was for many reasons system.out.println is only used for console display and also if you observe the system.out.println it's a synchronized method so it is very costly so every time you write system.out.println like 100 times in a, in a program, it is, it's just not an efficient way to program because you are using a synchronized method there. So this is one of the drawback of system.out.println and also you can only display the information on the console. So what if you need to write the data onto a file and use it later on or you know you have to send that file over to someone so that they could have a look at what has happened and they could, they could do the debugging. And what if you want to work with multiple files at the same time and also not only write the data onto the console but also to the file. Well debugging could be used but it helps only in the development environment and not in the production environment. And also, if you are going to debug a remote application, you cannot use a debugging. So because debugging is not possible in remote application. So logging tool has to be used in all of these cases. So when we are considering all of the above cases, which I mentioned, like if you want to write a data on not only onto the console, but also on the file. And if you want to work with multiple files at the same time, and also all of these are addressed by using a logging framework which is log4j. In order to track the application flow, you would need a logging framework and also you need the logging to keep as a record at, as what has happened, how the flow takes place. So we will see what are the various aspects of this log4j, log4j tool one by one in the coming lectures.